Het bedrijf Petronas die heeft er vandaag wat donaties gedaan aan het Diakonesse ziekenhuis. En het ziekenhuis die heeft dit allemaal zeer gewaardeerd. Het zijn er endoscopie, apparatuur die er gedoneerd is voor het ziekenhuis. En er zijn ook wat zaken gedoneerd voor de keuken van het ziekenhuis. Voorafgaand aan de overhandiging van de spullen zijn er dan de gebruikelijke speeches geweest waar dan de directie van het Diakonesse ziekenhuis dan ook hun erkentelijkheid hebben uitgesproken richting Petronas voor de gesten. It's the endoscope and coloscope that go into gastroscopie that go to the gastrointestinal tract. These instruments are very advanced because you can see everything, you can see it, see it enlarge, but you can also, after doing the diagnosis, you also can also take with the scope, you can take a small part out of this tract when, for example, you see something that looks like a cancer, a tumor or a cancer, you can with the scope, you see the, the swelling or the tumor and you can take out a little piece that can be examined microscopically. This time nowadays, it's very important to have this uh, mode of diagnose because especially cancer treatment is seen a lot lately through the endoscope. So it's not easy to obtain scopes, endoscopes that you can check the in gastrointestinal tract uh, from the back, but also from the upper tract entrance you can see the gastric and other parts of the tract. It's very important that nowadays this diagnosis can be made so the treatment can start very soon, very early. At the moment the number of patients needing this examination is such a number that people have to wait for six months here in Suriname to do this examination because of the lack of personnel it's very busy only only specialized nurses and doctors can do this examination but also the lack of number of instruments and this is why a lot of people have to wait for several months to do this examination you can understand if it's a cancer process within the gastrointestinal intestinal tract this process is going on and on and on while waiting and at the at last, when the examination is after two or three months, maybe the process is at the stage that you cannot do anything anymore. So we are very grateful with this help of Petronas through Stats Oli for the Diakonessa House. Because everybody knows the problems which are now in health care. A lot is, most of the problem is financial problems, our financial problems, but also through the, because of these financial problems, it's very difficult to get access of certain instruments. Maybe somebody of the diaconesses could tell how long it, what time it takes to have the endoscopes here, but it's very important that we have help, help from Petronas through Stats Oli to have these endoscopes 
here at the Yako Nationalist. As hoofd van de Endoscopie Unit ben ik heel blij om vandaag hier aanwezig te zijn bij deze overhandiging van de scopen. De endoscopie stelt zich ten doel om in een klantvriendelijke en een serviceverlenende omgeving kwalitatieve, deskundige en professionele wijze zorg te verlenen aan onze cliënten. Dit doen we door specialistische verpleegkundige en medische zorg te bieden aan patiënten waar er endoscopische onderzoekingen moeten plaatsvinden. De continuïteit te waarborgen door waar nodig deskundige assistenten te verlenen aan de verpleegafdelingen waar deze patiënten soms terechtkomen. Dagelijks worden er minimaal vijf endoscopieën gedaan, of scopieën gedaan, tot maximaal 21. Als tweede ziekenhuis in Suriname, behalve het AZP, mag ik met trots zeggen dat het diaconessenhuis behoort tot degene of dat is een van de ziekenhuizen die deze onderzoekingen doen. Net als wat meneer van eerst zei, dat het vanwege die wachttijden, die lange wachttijden, we alles eraan doen om samen met het AZP zoveel mogelijk deze zorg te mogen bieden aan onze patiënten en cliënten. We zijn daarom Petronas en vertegenwoordiger van Staatsolie zeer erkentelijk voor deze donatie. Het is echt van toegevoegde waarde om de continuïteit van het bieden van deze scopieonderzoekingen aan onze cliënten voor te zetten. Als slot wil ik namens het team van de endoscopie het verplegend personeel en de internisten u hartelijk dank zeggen voor deze donatie. En ik wil stiekem aangeven dat we nog meer uitkijken naar meerdere donaties. Again, uh, my name is Zambri Basri. I'm the new country head for uh, Petrona Suriname. We're seeing uh, Mr. Amashtam Kamal, who some of you might be familiar with. Uh, he's back in Kuala Lumpur uh, for his new um, uh, assignments. Yeah. So, um, first of all, on behalf of um, Petronas Freenam, Petronas, and also uh, Mr. Yusuf Abdullah, my senior general manager, uh, we would like to say thank you to the National Hospital, uh, especially Mr. Clyde, uh, Mr. Uh, Van Her, Ms., uh, Mrs. Eileen, I think Mrs. Nicole, uh, Mrs. Preferred, and staff of this hospital uh, for organizing this uh, this event today. Uh, we are proud to be uh, to be in association and support of the hospital, right, and to be um, aligned with what the services that you provided to the community. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, if I just go back a bit, so Petronas uh, was born almost 49 years ago, right, uh, in, in 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 Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Right. Uh, I did actually in the middle of the um, oil crisis in the 70s. Right. So. Um, since then, we've grown um, uh, in terms of size, capacity, and we're now a business all over the world, including here in Suriname. So um, despite all the success that we achieved uh, so far, we always remember our roots, uh, the community that has supported us throughout the years as we, we grow in size and in its business dimension. And uh, we made a pledge. We made a pledge that whenever we operate, we will always support the community. Uh, in whatever means that we can. When COVID hit the world in 2019, we were left to fend for ourselves. And food, as you know, is very important. Everybody loves food, not only the Surinamese. But uh, I, will, I always say a hospital kitchen is a uh, necessary evil. Why do I say that? Because uh, there's a difference between a, a commercial kitchen and a hospital kitchen. Because the commercial kitchens, when they have cooked, they can sell their food. We can sell our food because we do it for our uh, our clients and um, we don't make any money so but uh, so it's but it, it's such a has such an important part in the hospital because of the care for our uh, clients so the equipment we had was about 30 year 30 years old and uh, just the right age to retire so um, I'm so glad for uh, uh, Jenny Jenny Lee who uh, who fought I'm gonna use the, use the word fought because we didn't really fight but she fought with us and uh, our director also uh, for many years because we had a desire to put up our own bakery and within our central kitchen. And due to the precarious finance, financial situation, our current uh, uh, general manager took the plunge and granted permission for us to start a, a global cost benefit analysis had been first made. 
And then ultimately, we were able to start up our bakery with our old equipment. I told you I wouldn't be long, so I'm going all the way down. So since October 21st, 2020, uh, the Diaconess House has been able to bake our own bread. Uh, and I'm very proud uh, on behalf of all of us at Diaconess House to announce that we are the first hospital in Suriname that bakes its own bread. You know, bread is very essential. Um, And still we had been doing it with the old, old equipment. So it's, we're so grateful you're here. And we're so grateful you came in to help us, to, to step in to help us. And uh, our, ta our tanks is probably bigger than the oldest truck in Guyana. That's how big it is. You know, it can't compare. So thank you. Thank you again, Petronas. Thank you again, Stats Oli.